I'm pretty excited about this package. I got it the other day. If you guys follow me on Instagram, bigs.co, uh, I kind of let out a little teaser. I'm going to do this quick unboxing and kind of show you what's in this box. I don't think I'm going to do an install video just because, one, I really don't know what I'm getting into with this. So it's going to be a lot of, you know, kind of trial and error for me just because I've never done this before and I don't really want to give you guys misinformation or anything like that. But once I get it installed, I will do a rundown on kind of how I did it. And if that helps you guys at all, or if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below and I can try my best to assist you with it. Without further ado, I'm going to kind of unpackage this. I did already kind of open it to make sure that I got all the contents in the box that I uh, needed uh, and kind of ran through the instructions. That way, if I needed anything extra uh, that they didn't supply, that I could stop and get it before I came out to uh, the shop because... It's really not close so if I don't really have it then I'm kind of SOL I did that it said that um, on the instructions that I did need uh, four uh, bolts of my choice to mount it to the lid of the ATV but kind of an update I've been working a lot uh, on it lately I haven't really filmed much of it just because again I'm doing a lot of trial and error things kind of just kind of flowing with the wind on it because I don't really know what I I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do I just kind of have a picture in my head of what I want it to look like I'm just gonna jump into this box kind of show you what you get in the box and then I'll do a little bit of a before and after it's on just so you guys can see uh, kind of what I did and if you have any questions again just let me know hit me up if you guys don't want to drop a comment down below hit me up on Instagram TikTok, wherever you find me that's fine so kind of the hardware that I got, looks like I got some hose clamps and some mounting hardware to mount the radiator to the bracket, radiator relocation bracket, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like I got some uh, couplings or some fittings to kind of extend my uh, radiator hose lines and a cool little sticker and some instructions. So that's kind of the hardware that I got in this box. Drop that to the side. Uh, here's my radiator hose uh, extension. Uh, the stock one obviously isn't long enough. So hopefully this isn't too loud and you can hear me, but now I'm going to unbox the actual relocation bracket, which I'm super excited about because I kind of looked all over the place. Didn't really find anything that I liked a lot until I saw on Lucky 7, they have a couple different uh, options, but I saw this one and the price uh, for it and the looks of it bought it right away I'll be honest with you I was gonna go like a customer out you know and get something crazy but I didn't really want to put too much money into it just because again I could literally flood this because I have no idea what I'm doing so I could just ruin the whole entire thing with one mud hole so not like I'm not like balling on a super budget but I'm definitely not like going all out and getting the best of the best of everything uh, I'm gonna get a knife here just to make this a little bit easier Okay, I'll just use this little screwdriver. It's like Christmas out here. Oh, I really... Yeah. Okay, so I really like this. this is, oh! I'm gonna toss it. But alright, so here it is. It's pretty beefy, of course. I mean, you're... It's going to protect it and it needs to be decently big. But this is kind of the look that it is. You know, pretty minimal and sleek in my opinion. That's kind of what I was going for. I know other companies have their logo up in front. Uh, I liked a few of those, but when I saw this, uh, you got the Lucky 7 logo down in the corner, which is very cool. Shout out Lucky 7. Your products are amazing. Uh, if you guys want to help me with any part of this bike, uh, let me know. That'd be great. But so I got this one. Yeah, I just like the overall look of it. I thought it would look really good. I uh, just got the typical black. I'm not going to go any crazy colors on this just because it is, of course, black. So, yeah, that's mm. kind of just everything that I wanted to run through, kind of just the overview of the radiator relocate. I'm going to do kind of a before, uh, show you guys kind of what it looks like without it on, and then I'm going to plop it on and... But if you guys kind of have any info and you guys, uh, or even feedback of something I did wrong or anything, make sure you guys drop a comment down below because I, again, kind of am very new to this uh, side of ATVs and I'm super excited to get this uh, to the point where I can, you know, go have a little bit of fun with it, but there's still a lot to do and a lot to learn for me 
before I think that I'm going to actually do that. So yeah, just uh, stick along. I'll kind of show you a before of it off and then I'll show you an on and then maybe some B-roll clips. All right, guys, I got an update for you uh, with the ATV. So I did get my Lucky 7 uh, Rad Relocate. I did an unboxing that's going to be tied into the beginning of this video. But a few days later, I got it installed. Uh, definitely working some kinks out in there. I think that my return line down here has a small leak just because I didn't drill a big enough hole. And I kind of tried to stuff it through the best I could. But I think I need to push it up further on the, uh, the outlet part. I don't even know what you call it and make sure I can get that hose clamp seated on there way better than what it is. I did put it on the four-wheeler just to test it out, uh, plugged in the radiator fan and the whole thing just to uh, see how it all fit. I think I'm gonna extend the connector a little bit just because it's it fits, but it's, it's a little short. Took it for a rip, tried to get it, the ATV up to operating temp so that that radiator fan would kick on. I don't know if I got it hot enough just because I, I don't have my gauges up there right now. Still finishing up some of the wiring on there. So I don't have my gauges up uh, front there just to check to see my temps and all that. Once I do that, I'm going to toss it back on. I might wire up a switch real quick just to see if this fan will turn on. Just to make sure before I put it back on because it is kind of a pain to take on and off. I'm going to put some more coolant in. If that all works, button up a little bit of the wiring, put it back together, and it should be good to go until I get my wheels and tires. And then uh, I'll install the bracket lift. Uh, still need to get that powder coated, of course. But other than that, it's coming along. Uh, it's definitely been a process. Definitely still got quite a bit that I want to do to it before uh, next season or before spring, before I actually take it and see if all my hard work actually uh pays off or it's gonna get swamped or broken or something cool so stay tuned for that just a little update i'm gonna try to fix this get it all straightened up toss it back on put the four-wheeler back together if it works and then i'll come back for another little update with everything how it should be so i got this thing installed uh ignore this frankenstein uh headlight setup uh gonna order some new ones here soon whatever Besides the point. So I got everything installed. I actually put most of it back together uh, just because I thought it was time to do so. So I did that. I did end up drilling a tad bit bigger of a hole right here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be leaking anymore. And it looks like I got that hose clamp on a little bit better. I just took it for a rip and it seemed to stay pretty cool. So I would imagine it's working. Uh, I ended up... Instead of just having the uh, factory wire go to the factory harness for the fan, I end up, I have a six position or a six uh, toggle switch here. So as you can see, I have rock lights hooked up to that. And then I have just the fan uh, hooked up to a switch now. Uh, I thought that would be a little bit easier. And if it gets a little warmer, you know, or I just want to cool it down a little bit more, I thought that maybe being able to flip that switch on whenever I want and flipping it off whenever I want might be a little bit of a benefit in the long run. I have no clue, but I just did it because I have I have extra positions on the little switch panel there so might as well just use one because you know you know might, might as well right so yeah so that's kind of the wrap up of putting the lucky seven radiator on my 2010 Polaris Sportsman uh, if you guys have any comments on the install let me know uh, I know there's not very many videos floating around so I could probably do a whole separate video of what I did uh, I didn't really do a walkthrough of what I did just because I didn't know what I was doing uh, as I said so I kind of just tackled it myself if you guys want a video of that let me know it's definitely a good video that I could do as far as you know future obviously these headlights got to go uh, I just popped that one in because it is nighttime out so I just wanted to be able to see where I was going obviously that's kind of you know as you can see has been ran into a tree so probably get a new whole grill at some point but it's not really a top priority just because it's going to get beat to hell regardless of all the new parts that I put on it. I think I'm going to put my factory tail lights back in and just nightshade them black or plastic dip and black, whatever, just because 
I don't know. I don't really want to drop the money on taillights and they're behind me. I can't even enjoy them. So it doesn't really matter at this point. All right. So this kind of wraps it up. Thanks for watching this video. Obviously, drop a comment down below if you guys want to see uh, more of the Lucky 7 install just because I haven't seen a video on it. So I suppose I should make one. Obviously, uh, wouldn't mind if you guys subscribe because I'm going to be dropping some more content, uh, trying to be super consistent with this. And follow me on uh, IG and wherever else you might find me, bigs.co, TikTok, whatever. That's kind of my uh, wrap-up update, so thanks for it. See ya.